Hello YouTube, Travis here. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about playing with the margins and other customization options in OpenOffice Writer. I just put Windows 7 on my computer and I needed uh, typing software and presentation software and spreadsheet software. And I didn't want to pay for Microsoft Office and I didn't want to pirate it because I didn't want to have to deal with genuine advantage and all the other stuff they throw at you. So I went ahead and got OpenOffice. If you're not familiar with it, OpenOffice.org is a productivity suite and it's for free. It rivals Microsoft Office. It has a writer, spreadsheet, and uh, presentation software. There's a couple other things. There's a math program, and um, it's it's a very good setup. It's not a hundred percent clone of Microsoft Office, but it'll do a lot of the functions that an average computer user will require of it. It's available at OpenOffice.org. Download it and install. It's very easy. I love it. Um, one little thing about it, though. As this, you know, looks a lot like Microsoft Word, uh, Microsoft Word 2003. If you're familiar with it, you might be able to see this from now. But the margins on this are not the same margins as Microsoft Word. Uh, the margins in this are 0.79 inches here, here, and then here, here. Uh, well, in Word, they're a little different, and. Uh, this could be a bit of an inconvenience because, uh, for one, some college professors like the word margin spacing just so that you're not getting uh, too much or too little out of a uh, page assignment. Like they say, three pages, and you can manipulate that by messing with the margins. Also, uh, you have to write a lot more to fill a page because the margins are smaller. So we'll show you how to get these to the industry standard, and we'll also sh make it so that it will be like that every single time you open up a blank document. All right, so we're going to go to format and then page when that pulls up we are going to choose uh, the word margins which are 1.25 for left and right and then one inch for top and bottom dandy okay that's fine and dandy we've set the margins but to do this every single time we open up writer would be a pain so what we're gonna do is choose file templates save we're saving a template of this setup here so we'll call this I already made one because uh, I use open office a lot but call it something like like MS word margins then choose OK one more thing file templates organize go to my templates find your like MS word margins right click and then choose set as default template hit close and now every single time you open up a doc, uh, open office document it should be like that there's one final thing I like to do and that's go to tools options uh, just for compatibility sake go down to load save expand the tree go to general and for document type it'll say probably ODF text document uh, because most likely the other computers at your institution use word so just for compatibility sake choose Microsoft Word 97 slash XP and that way um, your documents will always be saved as dot doc DOC and that's uh, the new word the old word you shouldn't have any compatibility problems same thing with spreadsheet you want to select Microsoft Excel and with presentation you want the PowerPoint format and once you choose those and hit OK they should be saved forever all right, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. OpenOffice is a great software to use, and it's a wonderful alternative to having to shell out the big bucks for Microsoft's programs. Um, until next time, guys.